Hello everyone and welcome back to the Inglenock project with uh, obviously me. Obviously know who I am because of my channel name. But not much has happened since the last video. And that's because I wanna run through what plans I have for this in this episode and how to develop your layout, how to know where to put stuff. But before I begin this video video, I like to say a very Thank you to all of you who have subscribed, liked, shared, commented on my videos. It means a lot to me and to be honest I never thought my channel would ever get as big as it has. I mean, I know 65 subscribers isn't that much. But to me it's a lot and every one of you is someone that I like. You're good. You're good. Obviously if you want to ask me a question, leave a comment down below. And I'll definitely try and reply to you. I probably will reply to you. I haven't got much, anything better to do. Um, so let's, let's crack on the video and get through my ideas. So I just wanted to give you a bit of scale on the building that we built in the last episode. Uh, this is obviously a train next to it. And you can see it's a pretty big building. Um, I have got like a little figure hidden away. Yeah. Um, it's one that I'm painting. You can kind of see if I lean them up against that wall. I don't know if you can see that. Let's move that train. So I see the figure there against the wall. Just hanging out. The brickwork is taller than him. So, yeah, that's quite a big wheels in. Now if you slowly pan across here you can see I've got some cut as I move slowly out of the way. They're quite tiny compared to the building. Now in the last episode I showed you there's a little box, red box inside. Um, yeah I made that too big. you got to be careful when you don't have anything to scale by because I made that too big. It works though, it works how I want it to work and you can't really see it so it doesn't matter too much. But it is a bit big for what I want. It's a, just a single drawer probably comes up to your waist, which is not good, really. It's not that's not a drawer at all. But anyway, let's let's go on with my plans and talk you through what this layout's going to end up looking like. Because I don't think I explained that very well in the first video, and now I've done a bit more. Um, my light just nearly fell over there, that was weird. Um, now I've done a bit more, but you can see how, what well, I know what I'm going to be doing and we can go through it so you can get a better idea of how to develop your layout. Okay, so over here I've got this uh, road coming in and I plan to have uh, this low loader here with a train on the back. Now, I seem to have not put the train on there which I was meant to so we just have like a train like so on it um, whether that be a new train like this or a rusty one I was planning on getting a rusty one from a place called Holden Yard they do like a quite nice rustic weathered sort of thing um, sort of like a bit scrap but it looks looks nice. It looks nice like this as well. Coming in to like get in the shed and do some work on it. And if I move that train now, I'm probably better off moving this as well because I've got a ruler behind there. Now I know the ruler isn't very interesting, but I was planning on having like a shipping container behind there, sort of like a nice green one just sit there, something else they store stuff in uh, it's about 18 centimetres long so go to about there it'll be that long, which is quite long um, I was hoping it'll be a bit shorter as you can see by where I've painted to um, but yeah, that's what I have for that corner now also in that corner I was planning on having like a tree now maybe 
I've found this thing called Forest Camp Canopy from a uh, Woodland Scenics. I might use that in the corner to get really built up and dense because I want that corner to be a dense and sort of this area down here. I want this to be dense for us as well, sort of coming round. So when it goes off the board, off that, off that way, you can't really uh, tell it ends. But um, now I know some people might not like this, um, but I don't see it muzzled too much. Um, so I thought it'd be a nice idea, and I'll. Got some trees here, sent around this way, and some nice autumn trees. Now, these are from a company called Footpath. I had no idea what they're going to be like when I bought them, but they're pretty nice. They're made of uh, wire. I don't know if I, I I'm not going to open it now because it's going to go everywhere with this stuff. But they're, they're made of wire and I should move the camera over slightly. They make they've got they're made of wire, they're painted nice they're really painted nicely. There's a few little defects here and there, so they might not sit right at the front. They look nice enough to have them lay out. They're quite realistic as well. Um, now with those I've also got a uh, saplings. Now opened these ones but I put them away after they went everywhere but these are also from footpath maybe I should get the light these are from footpath and they're just literally smaller versions they're quite good as well I was thinking about putting those around the edge of our building over here putting them sort of because I've got sort of these gaps ugly bits sort of hiding it with that Getting some uh, other stuff as well. Now, in these these sort of these trees, these big ones here, they might look good in like this area here, like a tree here, a tree maybe here. They're coming up here. You can't really see that. Pan over a bit more. That's a bit jerky. I'm sorry. Tree, uh, three trees. I got three trees along here. That oh, quite nice. Some grass at the bottom. That'll look nice. Obviously all autumn-y. I want to go for an autumn kind of uh, look. I don't know if people will like that. But I hardly see it modelled again. And it's just nice. Because you can have all these defects with autumn. And just get some like scatter material and put it over. And say that's leaves. I guess. So. That's basically it. And over the end of the baseboard if we go a little bit further you can sort of got this end area I think I'm having like a few low trees over here but um basically this layout is going to have two open sides so this side like you can see here is going to be open and this side over here is also going to be an open side so you can look down the layout down this way as well I think it gives it a bit more of a view, better view and angle and might be more enjoyable really uh, but that's all I really want to talk about this video I know it's just been a little bit of talking I'm going to show you some static grass that I've done as well because that's the other bit of stuff we've done I'll show you that in a minute but it's over the other side of my room on another layout that I've got which if you want to see I'll show you if enough people will comment we want to see your other layout. So if you want to see my other layout, comment if you want to see your other layout. So I'll show you my other layout. Which is probably... I started this one because it was smaller. Let's just say that. And I don't really have many techniques. So I've probably done... This is probably the nicer looking one at the moment. Uh, but anyway, let's show you that started static grass and end the video I guess maybe I'll talk a bit more about this later and what my plan is 
with on the next video, I guess. Yeah, I'll do that after we look at the static grass. Okay, this isn't upset static grass. I just had a play with it, and I think it looks all right, really. But just a little play with it. You can kind of see what the layout looks behind. But yeah, I'm not going to use this static grass because it's a bit too short, a bit too bright. Um, but it looks all right, I guess. It's got a nice sort of texture to it. But apart from that, it's not too much to talk about. So this is a view you probably haven't seen yet. This is the layout in its entirety. And in the next episode, we're going to be putting a backboard on. Now, the reason I've made this episode so early is so I've got a lot more time to figure out how I'm going to do it. Um, at the moment, I'm sort of still wondering what material I'm going to use for the back because I don't want it to be as straight and have corners. I want a, like, a nice curve in the corner and I want to be able to cut a little hole for my trains to get through onto the field yard, which I haven't built yet, but I guess that comes at a later date. So, yeah, there's the layout in its entirety, which I think's pretty cool. Um, I do like this layout very much. So, if you want to see more of this layout and see how it gets on, then please leave a like. If you want to know how I did anything in any previous videos or you see something that you're interested in, go, where was that from? Or, how do you do that? Then, ask in comments down below. I'll either re redirect you to a video or just tell you straight out. Um, I love doing that. I love answering your questions. So, if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And so thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video then please leave a like. Make sure to subscribe so you can catch the next episode. Now I'll have a little teaser for the next episode is. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.